they stand for law and the prophet, the scripture, the tradition of the Catholic Church we, that we advocate. And so the Bible represents today in the first reading, Abraham as a great model of faith. In one of the Eucharistic prayers, we refer to him as our father in faith. At the way of God, he left the usual securities of life. Abraham left his home. He left his family. He left his surroundings, his friends. He left, he left his job and set out for the land that he had never seen. He set out to the unknown. And when we come to this place, when we come to this mountain, when we listen to these words, when we receive the sacraments, we are saying to ourselves, Lord, use us, I am ready to live whatever I love. I am ready to set out to the unknown, to do what you want me to do, not what I want to do. I am ready to be a minister of your way. I am ready to be your ambassador. I am ready to be your disciple wherever you send me. Here I am. Send me. Let me be, like St. Francis said, the instrument of your peace. Let me bring love to this community. Let me bring your peace. Let me help these people see your glory. I'm not sure if we are aware of this. By coming here, we are saying yes to God, just like Abraham. And surely, he had to face challenges on the way, just like we are to face challenges on our way. I might say, I'm not sure whether I was here or not. The moment you receive, the moment you accept this Christian faith, don't expect that life will be soon saved. Don't expect that all your challenges, your problems, will go away. But that's a moment you invite them. The moment you receive Jesus Christ, the moment you say yes to his way, the moment you say yes to this Christian life, you are saying, devil, come and test me. And surely, he accepts your challenge. And so, do not expect that you are going to have a very nice life in sense. True. Christians, they cry day and night. They go day and night. Some they lose their job. Some they go hard. Some they become homeless. Some they become jobless. They lose whatever they have for the sake of the gospel. And this is exactly what happened to Abraham. The only purpose he had on this journey was faith. Not the one where you go down on yourself all. No. The only compass here was faith in God. What compass do you use in this time of age? Is it your education? Is it the kind of way you wear? Is it your family? Is it whatever uh, insurances you have in your life? What kind of a compass do you use? As you journey Abraham friend touches us with his boldness and vulnerability. He didn't know, he didn't know where he would end up. He trusted that God would be with him. And God was always with him. From this, he derived great strength. God blessed him and rewarded him. He rewarded his strength by making the father of a great nation. It was from his descendants that when Jesus Christ was born. And if God promises, God delivers. It's a question of faith. If we do have faith in God, then everything we ask for will be given to us. We can identify the effect of Abraham because we too are on this day, as I have mentioned. The great journey of our life, journey of our faith. And most of us have at some point also felt left, I mean, our goals. Like 
religious person and embark on this day into the world. You, as Christians, have left on some of us here. In fact, all of us are baptized. And when we baptized, we were given a ticket to leave our comfort zone. When we receive the sacrament of confirmation, giving the spirit, the spirit of God was not for you to sit at all. The spirit of God was not for you and you alone. The spirit that you were giving at confirmation, it was for you to reach out to other people. And there are people who need you. There are people who need your ways. There are people who need your prayers. There are people who need your visits. There are people who need your time. Reach out to those people. And when we started last week, saying we are dealing with Jesus Christ for 40 days and 40 nights, we were saying we are living our common souls. We are reaching out to these people, to our brothers and sisters, in every day. People who are in distress. People who are lonely. People who have lost their loved ones. People who have lost their jobs. People who have lost their families. People who have lost their children and parents. People who are in the of losing their faith. You are sent to those people. Renew their faith. Be a sign to them that points to Jesus Christ. Be a sign to them that tells them, that reveals to them the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. We are on this journey, dear friends, the journey to Canada. And the truth is, we are involved not on one, but on two journeys. The first journey is the outward journey. We make through involvement in our way, in our parishes. You may ask yourself, for example, what's your contribution here in this journey? Not in the form of man. Yes, what is needed? Do you teach Christian faith? Are you part of the SEC small Christian communities? Do you go out visiting the sea? Physically sick, spiritually sick. Do you get involved in the activities of the parish, what, in whatever form? If not, where is the Spirit of Christ in you? That is the first common day being involved in the world, our world today. Find your own in this Christian community, find your own in your family. Be present to your family. Be present to the people you are working with. Okay? You may go to work every single day and find that people are like, good morning, good morning, are you well? Yes, I'm well. No. People are working, people are working. And they need this way. They need you to unveil, to explain, to give them something to live for. Some people out there are suicidal. There are some people here who have made great mistakes in their lives. And maybe they decided to sit back, not even come here because they will be judged. Be an answer to them. Bring them home. Bring them out. Bring them in this way of Jesus Christ. The second is in one day. This is a search for oneself. And ultimately, a search for God. You reaching out, you searching for God in whatever you do. Life's journey is fully a journey of faith because we don't know where it will take us to. Today, we are maybe, tomorrow, we must say. Faith begins with a call from God in some shape or form. It is a call to embark on a journey, and God calls us to come forward. He's calling you to be climb with His Son, climb with Jesus Christ, come to this mountain, have a feel of what it means to be a member of the church.
have a feel of what it means to be a disciple of Jesus Christ. And when the disciples saw this, they got confused. And Peter said, Lord, it is nice. It is fulfilling to be here. Why can't we stay a little bit longer? Let me build three ten boats for one for you, for one for Elijah. And the scripture says he did not know he was saying because they were afraid, they were confused. But we come up here knowing exactly what we expect. And my invitation to you, dear friends, is that we open up to Jesus Christ. As we are here, just listen. Listen to him. Listen with your mind, listen with your soul, listen with your whole being. Be with him. Forget your family at this moment. Forget the past at this hour. Forget whatever challenges that you are facing. Forget everything. Just be present. Listen to him. Open up to him. Let him be in control of your life. Let him be in control of your faith. And submit. Okay. If we do that, we'll go back, we'll go down, having our feet fulfilled. We'll go back smiling, we'll go back knowing that this hour was not a waste of time. You got something. And it is not the altar servers, maybe, it is not the priest who made you feel and experience this. But it's you by giving yourself, your whole being to Jesus Christ. So, this is the second Sunday of Lent. It's just about seven days that we have begun this day with Jesus Christ. So let us sit out. Let us forget everything. And these days, I usually say it is of Christmas day. We are told to fast in arms, this and that. I don't mind if you're fasting. You may eat as much as you can. Okay? Anyway, you are going to store that for Easter Sunday. Easter Sunday will be going out, celebrating, doing this and that. Okay? Covering for all these weeks, six weeks, enjoying yourself. I don't mind you may go from now. Straight after church, have your first dream, have your plan. But what I'm going to do is to fast spiritual, is to live by God, is to do the will of God, is to reach out to those that I can name, is to change your life, change your attitude, change your language, change your thinking, change your steps, change even maybe the way you sleep at night. After 40 days, be a new creature. Be a new person. Just surprise yourself. Yes, we celebrate this every day. And maybe for some of us, it becomes annoying. Next day we'll be listening to the same message. Different, you know. Let's change the difference. Let this be a year, a season with a different. We celebrated this last year. Nothing happened. This year, be a new person. Be a new disciple. Be a new son to people of God out there. And may God bless us. May he strengthen us. May he enlighten us as we turn along. We are going to go down from this mountain where Jesus Christ has invited us this morning. As we go down, let us go back with our hearts to him. Let us go back with a new message. Let us go back with our faith strength. So that when the day comes, our faith may not fail us, but may the 